true flow grid is over a thousand dollars and it's it's not accessible a lot of times to people that don't have the means and have other things they need to spend money on so we have to fall back on something else like the static pressure probes which is fine anything above nothing is a great bonus to me so if you're using static pressure that's great if you're using a vein it's great you're going to get a general idea of the airflow even if it's not precise I like the precision that you can, you could do a capacity calculation based on the readings you get. I think that's awesome if you can do that. But if you're in service or you just want to make sure in general, you set a machine up properly within reason, then these other ways to measure that are only a hundred bucks. Like I'm trying to remember. In fact, let's, we'll look them up. I'll show you guys go to true tech right now because there's an airflow section. And I know there's a bunch of stuff that's cheaper that you can get. Airflow. Yeah, they have a whole section called Airflow. Perfect. There's a different ones they have on the screen. They have anemometers, airflow hoods, pressure matching, and true flow. That's the one we were talking about. Differential pressure manometers and just some other accessories and tips like that. But if we go to anemometers, like we're thinking of ways that like you don't have to break the bank to try to do this stuff, which is nice. You can see there's still some expensive options. There's those little CPS deals which came from the AB company. I think it was AB flow meter. Now I don't know about these bad boys. I would probably step it up one notch from that. You have like the Testo 417 large vein. That's 436 bucks. It's expensive, but it's like the next step up. And they even, you can get flow hoods for that. As you see right here, there's flow hoods for the 417. So there's some customizability and more things you can do with it. This little deal, the Testo 410, I know a lot of people use that. So that would probably be pretty good to have. And it's only a couple hundred dollars. And I don't, I'm not, I'm not going with the field piece anymore because it's kind of past its prime. Let's see if there's anything else here. I use the UEI DAFM 3B digital airflow meter down here. I love that thing. It's actually more expensive than it used to be because the price of everything went up. But I think that's a really good device. And it's only a couple hundred dollars, as you can see there. So there's a lot of uh, options right there. By the same token, you see here, there's dual port manometers. You can see we have the Testo entry level airflow kit because you need like the hoses that come with it, little silicone hoses, I think they are, and the airflow tips or static pressure tips and little ports right there. And the good thing about these things is you can measure more than just airflow with a dual port manometer. So that's a good thing. You can do heating checks with that as far as gas pressures. So that, that has a, a double effectiveness which is really, really nice. And as you see, they do sell the kits. And let me see what else they have here. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back one. Now, if we go over to, and it has another section for these, so I don't know why there's two separate sections, but dual port manometers, there is a wide variety because it goes all the way up from your basic stuff. Then you have building performance stuff because it'll be more accurate, more precise, because you have to measure zonal pressure differences in houses, which is a much more precise measurement than just water column. So the Testo 510s, 152. That's what else do they have here? Everything else gets a little bit more expensive. Hey, you can get your Magna Helic. You can go old school, bro. That's about it. And you see down here the TEC, the Energy Conservatory Minneapolis DG8. That's the one you would use for home performance. You see it's 575. But let's, let's compare that with some of the other methods for measuring airflow just for, for human beings to be able to afford. Take it in mind that I, I want these things anyway. This would be a great thing to have. So you have the Energy Conservatory Minneapolis Digital True Flow Solution Full Kit. And we talked about this before. It's 1700 bucks. But I mean, you can slide that in a filter slot and it does the work for you. There's no waving the wand of an anemometer. There's no watching the pressure on the dual port manometer fluctuate and depending on which way you point the things, it can fluctuate back and forth. I would much rather have something like this, but I mean, look at it. You gotta, you gotta save up for that bad boy.